Hello everyone, this is Zero Raptor coming at you again with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, sorry for the very long delay between the last video and this one. I mean, I did have that video about Gundam Evolution, so I felt like that was something I had to do. And then right after that, I got friggin' sick. I got the, the good old flu. I, I've been sick for like the past month, but now I'm... I'm at a point where I'm not freaking hacking my lungs Were you out, able so. To one of the Dedalian keys? Oh right. So I was doing that quest. Oh. Have I seen you around? Kitty cat. I don't think I've seen the Siamese cat. I know I've seen the tabby. But yeah, something tells me that I'm I'm not gonna get anything for petting all the cats, but you know, something to do. Hello, Nelly. All right. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Okay. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should oh, see I this only... through and find the Slytherin house chest. Whoa, what a coinky dink. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go this way? Okay. Yeah, so sorry I wasn't able to show you guys the first chest because I wasn't expecting to do the side quest. Yeah, it's really weird because you find the key, it's like flying around. Um, it's kind of like those flying keys that Harry and his friends did in the... What is it? Chamber... Chamber of Secrets, right? Because you had to go through like the, the wizard's chest and then there was like the flying key trial, which I think it was different in the movie. Yeah, the loading time on this game is like really long. I don't know if it's because I'm recording or it's because <laughs> this game is rather massive. Open says me. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. All right. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Oh my gosh, that's like... Okay. Jeez. So I need 16. I'm guessing I won't be able to access the other house chest. Oh. Hey, Ominous. How come I haven't done anything with you yet? I've only seen you like walking around. Okay. Find the remaining house tokens. No path available. Oh. Well, I mean, I know what the things look like. Just to remember where they are. That's annoying, because then I wish the this quest had come earlier. So this is not the... Oh. That. Oh. Ooh. What? Something here. Oh. Revelio. House Elf Recipe Book, rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled dirigible plums are likely an acquired taste. Okay, so it's just like a recipe book just out in the open. Alright, I guess I have to work on the other quest. Oh. Have I been back down here? Wait, where did- where did I wander into? Okay, put that dialogue away. There's just 
been like walking around. Cause I just went up the staircase. Okay. Wait, I haven't been down here? Really? I mean, I've been doing a lot of exploring, so it's not surprising there's a lot of bits of Hogwarts I haven't really explored yet. Here's something. I hear something magical nearby. Oh, we're there. Pear portrait. If one tickles the pear in the still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry into the Hogwarts kitchen. Oh. So. How do I tickle? Or is this the common room for Hufflepuff? But that's entry into the kitchens. Alright, let me grab this one over here. Rebellion. Hufflepuff barrels. To enter the Hufflepuff common room, one must tap the barrel two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. An errant tap will res result in being denied access and doused in vinegar. Ah, oh, that's cool. So I found the Hufflepuff door. I mean, they got a couple of torches here that are kind of kind of a major clue. Okay. Alright, so this is the kitchen. Huh. Because I was always curious. I was like, wait, the Hufflepuff common room is near the kitchen. So I'm like, how? Is it like next door? Or I guess it makes sense it would be in like the cellar. And then the kitchen door is here. Which is pretty deep underground, but again, you wouldn't want students, you know, wandering their way into the kitchens and disrupting the, the house elves. Oh, Hogwarts. These little pillars. Now what does that pertain to? Because I hear... It's a... Uh... Is the arithmancy door. Alright, okay. What luck? Um There's no key here though. But how do I do this? Yeah, so these are the wardrobes I have to unlock. There's a there's gotta be a key fluttering around. Huh. Weird. I guess I'm supposed to find them in a particular order? Oh, yeah, I already got this one. I guess the tablet's reset to question marks once I'm... Owie? Once I'm done. It's me, oh. Gareth. Do you have a moment? Okay, so... Oh. Alright, so that's a Daedalian key. And I follow it. Alright. So this is how it works. I basically... <laughs> Yeah, I have to wait till it's like in front of the keyhole and then I can slap it. That's it. Alright. And then this I have to get a and unlock a little more. So that yeah, it's basically the data lin key. I have to find this little suckers flut fluttering around and then I have to follow it to its cabinet. But yeah, that last cabinet I found, like, it didn't have a key around, so I basically would have to, like, by luck, wait until one comes along, and then I can... 
And then I can use it. Okay. So I'm helping Scrope, which is a weird name, investigate the grotto. But the problem is the grotto is being protected by these really, really strong lizards. So I'm going to have to level up a bit. Or rather level up a lot because I think I'm like one level below them, which is not good enough. I mean, I'm just, I just have to use like the right combination of spells. But yeah, like they were just hiding and just caught me off guard. So I died like at least two, three times. I don't remember. It's been, it's been a month since I last played. So does my character ever sleep? Like if I go to sleep, would it replenish my health and stuff? Okay. Oh, what? Hmm. I mean, that'd be one way to approach it. Let's see how far it is. If this is 200 meters. I mean... Yeah, let's try approaching it from this side. Because approaching it from the other side, from the beach, it was, uh, it was not helpful. Because I have to get into the grotto to get whatever it is that Scrope needs. Ah, oh, there we go. How was I? What was it to swim faster? Shift. Seems like this island. How am I freezing my butt off? Getting hyperthermia. Ooh, it's a long way down. I'm king of this rock. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Ooh, okay. Secrets. Emerald silk robe. Alright. It's uh, worse than what I have right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, why am I getting gear that's like worse than what I have? And this thing was like just out on an island that I would never think to like go to. It's my inventory. Oh, it's to toast. When did I when did I get a piece of toast? I am very confused. Or did I get that for scrope? I probably had to rewatch my old videos. All right, so yeah, let's see if approach. Ooh, nice dive. Let's see if approaching it from this end. No, oh, maybe, maybe. All right, I probably would have to fight my way out unless I could just swim my way out. Ooh. All right, all right, it's it's working, it's working. We're doing this. All right, it worked out better than I thought. Why would I need a piece of toast? Oh. I suppose that's where it goes. Ooh, squiddy. Okay, so am I supposed to attract the squid? I guess it likes toast, even though it's gonna be wet. Oh wow, I wish it was that easy to just offer a piece of toast as an offering. All right, so approaching from the other side worked out after all. What's this? Ooh, chest. 
Okay, so there's a bridge, I'm guessing, to Hogsmeade. And then there's supposed to be some ruins. Or candles. I'm guessing the Forbidden Forest, Hogsmeade. Hmm. Pretty straightforward. Map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Alright, it's someone's little... Ooh, spinny! Hehehe. <laughs> Is that a... Um, what do you call it? The prophecy orbs? Or if that's just a... Or just a glass? Okay. Polonia's Black Journal. Could it be? A visit to... Whoa. Oh. It's poopy. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Nice to meet the you. name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find the Black Family Ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want wow. with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. Harsh critic. Hand them over. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So... I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages. Wait, how'd you... Was it a trap that made you lose your head or the lizard amphibians outside? I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Uh, okay, so some sort of wind elemental knocked off his head? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. Okay. <laughs> um, toast is like the weirdest thing for a squid to go crazy over, but all right. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a Makes penchant sense. for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Yeah, that tracks. All right then. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton. They're yours for the taking. Wait, he didn't die in this cave? He died elsewhere? Then why is his ghost haunting this place? Well, I mean, he did... Collect... How do you get a wardrobe down here? Or a freaking like, Slytherin pillar? I mean, I know you're all about impressing... I mean, you could probably use the... What was it? Leviosa. But still, like, you're dragging all this stuff through the water, past those very aggressive lizard things, to impress a girl. You got a little furnace going on here. And what's this blocking off? Or is this just a decorative wall? Jeez, dude. Okay. Alright, um... Now I gotta go to a forest. 
while avoiding the weird gator things. Okay, so I guess I don't need to fight them, although that would have helped me not die. You don't see anything. I mean, I should level up on them, but they are kind of tough. And I'm not really good with the combat system here. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollina's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. I mean, you're much nicer than creature in terms of black night uh, house elves. Fireflies? Oh yeah, this is uh... How come I couldn't target that one? Okay, now I know how to gather those, because last time I was like shooting them with my basic attack and I was like, okay, I guess I can't gather those. Like, no, you have to use a specific spell, Zero. Wait, am I not in the Forbidden Forest already? Oh, mushrooms. I don't know what I need them for, but I probably will. Yeah, so I wasn't... I wasn't able to uh, get all the arithmetic doors, because apparently some of them are behind Aloha Mora doors. So now I need to learn Aloha Mora to get access to those arithmancy doors. Oh, there's more over here. Yeah. I'm so mad that I, I freaking messed up. I mean, since I'm going through a freaking forest now, it's going to make up the last time. Yeah, why did that... Why is it targeting the other crystals but not like that last one? It never made sense to me. Ew, what's over here? I know oh, I'm Merlin's trial. I, I think I have some mallow sweet. Okay, am I timed? Oh. I think I might be timed. <laughs> Or not. All right. I get more inventory space. Hello, Merlin. my owl. I should go to the owlery and visit it sometimes. Alright, well that was like the easiest one, aside from the first one. Yeah, it's kind of funny, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but like at Disneyland, there's there's a character named Merlin, who is from Sword of the Stone. Excellent, I mean, not excellent movie, but it's like one of my favorites. It's kind of a little, nice little adventure type movies but um yeah i like it and so i was kind of happy of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination in my opinion no oh, okay so i got some bandits i'm gonna have to uh remove from the picture but anyways yeah disneyland has a merlin 
And it's funny because I, after the Harry Potter movies came out, a lot of people like brought their kids to Disneyland, and they're like, "Oh, look, it's Dumbledore!" And I'm like, "Wrong studio. <laughs> At Warner Brothers." But yeah, canonically, there is a. I'll stick him like a knobtail. Oh, so you're looking for poachers? Some object. Oh, freebie. Running home. I guess so. This is where that poor student got killed, Jack Daw. Here I am, as good as my word. All right. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I keep wanting to, to call him you. Jack Dawson. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? We don't lose your head over it. Okay. So Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is... Rather unfortunately, coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. I'm. I'm I think that's French. Alright, what's over here though? I see a lot of danger signs. Alright, I'm. I don't know about you, Off but I'm. Adventure, are we? I'm guessing. Wild guess. You might have had an acromantula pop off your head. I was expecting an ambush, but not to that extent. <laughs> oh! Eh! Wait, wait! Ah, oh, come on! Gonna come up behind me. Incendio. Ah, dang. Oh, 
Frick. Jeez. I'm only 16? Why is it giving me a level 20 quest? Okay, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna need to grind a bit. This is weird. Maybe take out some poachers. Oh, it's a little chest. No. Yeah, that is way too high. Or should I approach from another angle? Because I was like two spiders and then like the friggin' matriarch is like friggin'. Like, wow, okay. Oh. Those are babies. Okay. Good thing I didn't hit those when I was down there. You just sniped it. Slowly snipe it. Let's see if I need to. Oh, ow! Yeah, if I need to get down into that cave. Okay, maybe I should switch to. Barely on this because I think it's longer range. Oh. I mean, technically, I did. S I did skip through the the gator thing, the dug backs or whatever. So I should have leveled up from killing those, but those were like. I mean, those. I think those were like level fifteen or sixteen, and they were still super hard for me to to beat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a bit of grinding before I can continue this, because that's... That is a big level leap. You already get all the stuff? Okay. Wait, what? Wait, so I have to... I have to do the quest? Wait, what happens if I decide not to? I basically can't accept the quest until I'm at a higher level. So, looks like side questing time. Alright, sorry dude, I'm gonna have to help you out another time because this is way too high level for me. Oh, summoner's court is... Oh, I have to do that? Nah, I don't think I want to. <laughs> Dragon. The dragon mural moves. 
That's cool. I did not know that. Alright, well I found another Daedalin cabinet, but alas, there is no key. Or I think I heard the key, but I just... I just don't know where it is. Oh wait, the butterfly mirrors. That's what they were. Yeah, the butterfly mirrors, I also have to get Alora Mora, because those are locked behind doors too. So like the butterfly mirrors and the arithmancy doors, like there's there's still a few that I can't access because they're behind locked doors and I have to get a little more to unlock them. Oh, hey Peeves. <laughs> yeah, so I have 14 more of these Daedalin cabinets to find. So I guess next video I'll start off with having found all of them and I'll just work on that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> glad you amused yourself, Peeves. Nah. Yeah, anyways, that'll be all for now. Um, until next time, this is Zero Raptor signing off. Laters.